Advaxis, developing a targeted immune response. Immunotherapy is a powerful anti-cancer approach that has shown durable responses in some patients. However, current therapies enhance the immune system non-specifically. There remains a need to generate and enhance immune responses that are highly specific to the patient's tumor. Responses that can overcome immune tolerance, have limited activity against normal tissues, and also have the potential to enhance survival. In other words, there's a need for targeted anti-tumor immunity. Advaxis has commenced a phase three study under a special protocol assessment and orphan drug designation evaluating axolimogene philolisbac, or Axel, under a program called Aim to Serve to advance its HPV-targeted approach to immunotherapy. While others are thinking about this type of approach, Aim to Serve will enter a phase three study this year using HPV constructs to target HPV-expressing tumors. How does Axel work? By leveraging our LM technology, which genetically alters a live strain of Listeria monocytogenes bacteria to generate cancer-fighting T cells. These cancer-fighting T cells that target HPV recognize and destroy HPV-expressing tumor cells. This approach is being developed to evoke a targeted anti-tumor immune response against HPV-expressing tumors. It starts with DNA that corresponds to the HPV antigen, fused to a truncated form of bacterial Listeriolysin O, or TLLO, to create the Advaxis HPV plasmid. The Advaxis HPV plasmid is inserted into live attenuated Listeria monocytogenes, which creates the HPV-specific cancer immunotherapy vector called Axel. This targeted Advaxis cancer immunotherapy vector, specific to HPV-expressing tumors, is infused into the patient. When a patient is immunized with a billion Axel live bacteria, these bacteria are taken up by the patient's antigen-presenting cells, or APCs, and they begin to be phagolized. Advaxis's highly attenuated strain of Listeria monocytogenes possesses a unique capability of escaping degradation in the phagolysosome, gaining access to the cytosol of the APC. Inside the bacterium, TLLO and HPV are expressed from the recumbent plasmid. Since each bacterium has multiple copies of the plasmid, a large quantity of TLLO and HPV can be generated. The proteins are secreted by Listeria monocytogenes and processed by the proteasomes. The HPV fragments are loaded onto MHC molecules and are presented to T cells. The HPV-MHC complex, recognized by T cells, triggers HPV-specific T cells which become activated. These activated T cells differentiate to become cytotoxic T cells, which multiply and find cells expressing the HPV antigen and destroy them. The technology is also designed to neutralize the suppressive tumor microenvironment that protects tumors from T cell attack. The immune system generates regulatory T cells, or Tregs, and myeloid-derived suppressor cells, or MDSCs, which shield the tumor by suppressing the immune response. MDSCs and Tregs may limit the effectiveness of the immune response. In addition to stimulating the immune response, the LM technology is designed to help ensure that the anti-tumor response remains at a high level. The TLLO generated from the recumbent plasmid triggers a reduction in the immune suppressive activities of MDSCs and Tregs, and the immune response is sustained. Advaxis's axle immunotherapy is designed to target HPV-expressing tumors. With this approach, the immune response is activated only against HPV-expressing tumors. In addition, this technology is designed to suppress tumor protective mechanisms that may limit T cell activity, enabling a sustained immune response. Finally, because of the specific targeting of the immune response, we believe there will be little to no immune activity against normal tissues. Cancer immunotherapy is moving in an exciting new direction. Axel is designed to stimulate an immune response that robustly targets, fights, 
and ultimately destroys HPV-expressing tumors. For an HPV-targeted cancer immunotherapy, think AIM to serve. Think Axel. <laughs>